Welcome to the top 5 worst elevator accidents ever. At number 5, we have the 41-hour ordeal. Nicholas White's harrowing elevator experience in 1999 is a prime example of how a routine moment can turn into a hellish, life-changing event. On a Friday night in October 1999, Nicholas White stepped out of his office on the 39th floor of the McGraw-Hill building in New York City for a cigarette break. Upon returning, he entered the elevator to go back to his office, but the elevator suddenly stopped between floors. White found himself trapped in the elevator for an astonishing 41 hours. During this time, he had no food, water, cell phone, or watch. His only sustenance was a pack of Rolaids. He relieved himself by urinating down the elevator shaft. He alternated between pacing, lying on the floor, and frantically pressing the alarm button. Finally, on Sunday at 4 p.m., after 41 hours of captivity, White heard a voice on the intercom asking if anyone was there. He was then, finally, rescued. At number 4, we have the decapitated doctor. On August 16, 2003, Dr. Hitoshi Nikato, a surgical resident, was entering an elevator at Christus St. Joseph Hospital in Houston, Texas. As he was stepping into the elevator, the doors suddenly closed due to faulty wiring. Dr. Nikato became trapped between the closing doors, with his shoulders and head still outside the elevator car. Tragically, the elevator began to ascend with Dr. Nikato still caught in the doors. As the elevator moved upward, Dr. Nikato's head was severed above the jaw. This gruesome accident was witnessed by a female co-worker who was already inside the elevator car. The cause of this devastating accident was determined to be miswiring in the elevator's control box during maintenance. Due to this error, the elevator did not detect that its doors were still open and began moving in response to the controller command. At number 3, we have the family. On December 30, 2019, a family's life was forever changed in Santos, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Four members of a family were killed when an elevator at a Brazilian Navy apartment building plummeted from the ninth floor. The cabin had become detached from the cable system, leading to the fatal fall. At number two, we have the advertising executive. Suzanne Hart, a director for an advertising agency, was boarding an elevator in a midtown Manhattan building when it suddenly ascended with its doors open. She was crushed almost instantly between the elevator and the floor. Investigations revealed that the elevator had undergone maintenance just hours before the incident. A jumper cable had been used to bypass safety circuits, allowing the elevator to move with its doors open. At number 1, we have September 11th. One of the most devastating elevator accidents in history occurred on September 11, 2001, during the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. It's estimated that approximately 200 people lost their lives in the elevators of the Twin Towers. As the buildings were struck, elevators plummeted, and fireballs tore through the shafts. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe for more.